You know, I'm watching some of the officials and some of the judges that are down on the field with Larry, and they're taking the programs and using them as fans as you look at the lane assignments for the women's 60-meter dash. And it's got to be a lot warmer down there. We're up by the roof. And does that affect the competitor at all? Well, one of the great things about indoor track is that the, the atmosphere is fairly much controlled. There's no wind. The temperature can be just about optimum. I don't think any of the athletes are going to be complaining about it being too hot. Normally, during the indoor season, it's usually too cold. So it's good temperature, but there's a lot of people in here, and they're packed in here. The women getting ready for the first heat of the 60-meter dash. World record, Nellie Kuman out of Holland, set back in 1986, seven seconds flat. Certainly the one to watch in this event is Gwen Torrance, Evelyn Ashford. Well, Evelyn Ashford, uh, we talked about that microscope that all the uh, veterans are under this year at, with the Olympics. Guys like Nehemiah making a comeback. And Evelyn Ashford trying to make a comeback. The Olympic champion in 84. Then she had a baby. And then last year she was injured. Bad hamstring problem. And right now during this indoor season, she hasn't been looking good. There's seven months left. But Evelyn really has to have things go well in the next couple of weeks to give her the confidence to train hard twice a day. Marty, as you look at her there, how important is temperament. She was not in a good mood about an hour or so ago. Are you able to shrug off anything that's bothering you and get your mind solely on the race, or is there a carryover effect? Well, Evelyn, uh, I told you that Jumbo Ali always told me to smile more. It's just the mood you get into to race. After the race is over, Evelyn's facial expressions and everything change more. She's, she's not one for talking when she's down there in the box, and she's able to focus on that gun. You don't want any distractions. Right now, though, Gwen Torrance, for the past two years, has stepped in as the indoor king in Evelyn's a absence. 18 finals in a row, 38 semis and finals, and she has run very well. And in lane number one, number 361, out of the Soviet Union, Natalia Pomashenko. Well, I think that two of uh, three of the Olympic medals this summer uh, may be claimed by people in this race. Not only could Evelyn come around and Gwen Tarns continue to run well, but Diane Williams and Pam Marshall are kind of like wild cards off to the side there that the American people possess in a sense that when they get hot, they're amongst the best in the world. Diane Williams in lane five, Marshall a late scratch, Michelle Finn is in lane six. To watch three and four, Ashford in three, Torrance in four, here they come. Ashford in three, Torrance in four, make it 19 straight for Gwen Torrance. And Gwen Torrance took a terrible tumble there. Seems to be the way this sport goes, that just when you're running great, something happened. She really went down. Evelyn putting a lot of pressure on her in the last 30 meters. Evelyn looking very good, and I think you picked it up, Jim. Evelyn was in a sour mood, but she's run her best race probably in two years. Look at Evelyn there in lane three. Gwen Torrance. Let's see if there was any reason that they might have bumped as they both threw themselves at the tape. Gwen with a slight lead here. Evelyn close. What a difference a day makes. Last night, New York, Gwen Torrance just Ran, ran away in high, but Evelyn has gathered herself. Marine Adi Page in lane two running well now. And let's there's the problem as Gwen probably saw the turns out of the corner of her eye and started to make that turn. The white line on the track. They're just outdoors. You're used to trying to stay in your lane and make the turn, but here the turns were too sharp for her to follow it. She went down hard. A nice job by Diane Williams alongside Gwen Torrance in lane five after Gwen went down. Diane Williams in lane five, just to the left of your screen, does a good job to avoid further injury. We'll come back and check on Gwen after this. At the finish, just stretching out to beat Evelyn Ashford. Gwen went down, took a terrible fall. They have brought out the stretcher. Larry Rawson is down within just a few feet of Gwen Torrance with Evelyn Ashford alongside. Larry? Okay, Evelyn, what happened? Do you remember or did you see her go down or did All she hit you? I remember at the finish line, we were both leaning for the tape. I fell down over here over some cameramen, and I looked up, and she's on the ground. That's all I know. Was there any contact with you at all? None. None. No Rush. Contact. Rush. She said she was leaning so much to the finish. Russ, you, you talked with her, Russ. I'm talking about... Uh, um, 
Gwen. Gwen, right, I'm sorry. You talked with Gwen Torrance there. What happened and what did she say to you? Well, she was saying that her left hip, she landed on her left hip and it was hurting and she couldn't move. But actually she leaned forward and she fell to the right and she fell on her left hip. On the replay, it looked like she might have hurt her shoulder, but that's okay? Yes, the shoulder's okay. It's a, it's a hip. And there was no contact at the, at the end. We'll try and get some words from Gwen Torrance in just a moment. Okay, Larry, Evelyn Ashford alongside, finished up second in the women's 60-meter dash. The official time, 7.18 seconds. It equals the American record for our winner, Gwen Torrance. But we had a tie in the women's 60-meter dash, Gwen Torrance. She's up, she's okay, and she's with Larry. Gwen, first things first, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine now. I think um, I just, I was leaning, I was trying too hard, and I just tipped over, I lost my balance. And when I hit my side, it knocked the breath out of me, and I just couldn't breathe. Watch the monitor there. Maybe you can describe for us what happened. You leaned at the tape pretty hard, didn't you? Yeah. No collision at all with Evelyn? I leaned like this, and I think I leaned a little bit too far. My leg went under me for me to be as low as I am. And I started wobbling, and I was trying to hold it. Right. And I could not hold it, and I rolled. I hit my side right there, and that knocked the breath out of me. Gwen, you're a big hope for our Olympic team and the 4x100, maybe the 100 and 200 meters, 35 wins indoors. What happens when you get outdoors a little bit? Is it a lack of confidence or what? No, not really. It's just been that I've been in school running the relays and just doing a lot of things for my team. And now that I'm, I'm an individual now, I think I'll be a little bit stronger than I was last year outdoors. You're going to parcel out your races a little less frequently than you've done before running for your collegiate team? Yes. Um, main thing, we had to peak at least three times. We had to go to our conference meet, NCAAs, then we go to TAC, and that's just too many times to peak in one season. And now that we only have TACs and the Olympic trials, I think I'll be up to par for that. Brilliant performance tonight. Unofficially, you have tied the American record. Great. This is my first time running the 60 meters, and I wanted to break it, but tying it is just, it's okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Jim? All right, Larry. Last week, she ran into the wall in Dallas, bruised her knee. Tonight, all she bruised were her feelings. She equaled the American record. Gwen Torrance out of Georgia.